where you going, buddy? Open your damn eyes. What's the guy there running through here like a maniac? Oh, I'm sorry, Antisthenes, but you've got to help me. Socrates? My God. It's you. I'm sorry. I mistook you for one of those damn beggars that keep plaguing us. Mark is full of them. Anyway, what is it? What's the matter? It's Antiphony. She's hot on the trail and hot on my tail. I, I can't let her find me. If she catches me, she'll skin me alive, and then I won't be able to go to Cleanius' party tonight. You've got to help me. Socrates! Quick. Put this on. Okay. <laughs> Sit right here, and don't say a word. Socrates! Now where did that damn bum go? I know I saw him go this way. Oh, he can run, but he can't hide. I know all of his usual hangouts, and it's only going to go harder for him when I do find him. Pardon me, sir. Did you happen to notice a large rat come running through here in the last few minutes? Uh, rat? No, ma'am. No rats here. Not one all day. In this part of town? That's a lie. You must be hiding something. Well, since you're so bold, if the truth be told, I've seen so many, I can't remember any. Ah, very well, then. If you value your life, listen to what I say. Lie to an angry wife, and it's judgment day. Oh, okay. I, uh, okay. I can't make any promises, but okay, fine. Tell me, what did this rat of yours look like? Oh, well, for starters, it's about six feet tall. By all that's holy! That's bigger than the most giant test sewer rat I've ever heard of! <laughs> well, certainly I would have seen something like that if it had come by. But I best be sure. I'm scared to ask, but is there anything else I should know about it? Oh, let's see. Well, it's about 60 years old, has white hair, and could talk your ear off spouting a lot of damn <laughs> fool nonsense about philosophy. Good God, lady! That's no rat you're talking about at all! That's a damn demon or a freak of nature you're describing. Are you sure you've been hitting the bottle a little bit? Am I sure? I'll say I'm married to him. Please, lady. This is a respectable establishment I have here. Just pretend you didn't say anything. I, for one, won't tell anyone. Listen, buddy, you can cut the crap right now. I saw my husband go this way, and I know he's around here somewhere. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you were hiding him. You know... This jackass sure looks familiar. That's <laughs> <laughs> not for sale. As for Aristophanes' new play, he's picking it up tomorrow. Might I just you one of these other masks? Uh, this Gorgon would suit you lovely. How about the music here? So, Aristophanes has another play coming out, does he? The drunk? Well, if he needs an access mask, then it must be another one about my husband. Oh, I'm ruined. One more play by Aristophanes about Socrates and his damn stupidity, and it'll be the death of me. I was the laughing stock of the town after the last one, the clouds came out. All the women in the marketplace made fun of me. They said every nasty thing they could think of about how my husband was a, a numbskull and a lunatic that flew around in baskets like a madman. And what was worse was, I had to agree with them. You know, I'd better destroy this jackass before Aristophanes can get his hands on it. Oh. Mm. Oh, sir, I believe your mannequin just sneezed. That must be our remarkable dummy. I, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, look, it talks too. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I think your imagination is getting the better of you. I know an ass when I hear one, and I'll be damned if that doesn't sound exactly like my husband. Shoes right now, if he had any. Oh, oh, oh. oh busted! Oh, Santippi, what is it, my little sweet pea? Don't sweet pea me, you old bastard! Where have you been all day? Out <laughs> gallivanting all over town? Oh, and I suppose you have another one of your banquets lined up for tonight, while your kids and I are eating someone else's scraps that I had to scrounge up from the garbage piles at the marketplace. <laughs> It's good not to waste food. Oh, don't give me any of your damn lessons on economizing. I already make a church mouse look extravagant. Save it for your big spender friends. Oh, I don't know any other woman that would put up with this. I just let you walk all over me. No one else would be stupid enough to let you take advantage of them the way that I do. Oh, God. Father warned me about marrying a philosopher.
philosopher. He said that I would regret it, but I didn't listen. When I heard how much gorgeous the others were charging their students, I thought you would really break it in like the rest of them. They said that you could outbabble them all. But I was a fool. I married the only philosopher dumb enough to blab it all away for nothing. God, what would I care if you walked all over town all day talking to every idiot who was dumb enough to listen if you could make a buck doing it? But no, you can't keep your gubs on flapping in the breeze in the direction of anyone who will look your way free of charge. No, you can't charge anyone a dime because you're too damn good to earn an honest living like anyone else. Well, let me tell you one thing, buddy. It is your wife and your children that pay the price for all of your fancy philosophy talk. Go! <laughs> Where do you think you're going, old man? <laughs> now you can go run and hide. Oh, I can't take this anymore. Just get out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's some wife you got there. <laughs> Do be quiet. Why do you let her hit you like that? If today I let some woman hit me like that, I'd send her flying. <laughs> what, you want me to get in a boxing match with her right here? <laughs> Ooh, that's one for Xantippe. Ooh, that's one for Socrates. You want it to be the talk of Athens, how Socrates beat his wife in the marketplace? Don't worry, Socrates. We all know who the one getting beat up is. Here, <laughs> let me help you. 